Hi, it's Leslie, 90 Day Fiance, the other way, meaning they're getting out of the U.S., going the other way, over to their countries. And this is a rough one, Shekinah and Sarper. And just going out on a limb here, but I'm giving them 0% chance of lasting, and I will tell you why. But just to catch up, so Shekinah, another crazy name, anyway, she goes to Turkey on a vacay and does what everyone does when they go on a vacation. She pulls up the dating app and decides to try to go out on a date when you're there for, like, why? But anyway, she meets Sarper, a playboy, total player, has two wonderful dates with him and is whipped, comes back to the U.S., and then we catch up with them, and they're having their little uh, call, their little video call. And this is my first red flag. You're in a new relationship. You think you wouldn't need anything. To, I mean, she's gorgeous. He's cute. What do you need? They need shit. They need stuff. They, they got props. They got things. They got outfits. They got hair. They got, and she had hair, all the things. And, but you know what? All that is fine, but they do draw the line somewhere. Oh my God. You look so gorgeous. You are my secretary, right? I'm the boss. Take your notebook and come to my office right now. Look at me. What is your name? Tell me. What do you mean, what is my name? No, change your name. Let it be Samantha or Sharon, whatever. Babe, we're not going to change names. Come on. That's too much. Yeah, come on. We're not going to do that. I, I, you know, I, I don't do that kind of stuff. He's a playboy. She knows that. And you look at him and you kind of know that. Ew, not, not my kind of guy. But anyway, he's the most gorgeous guy she's ever met, of course. But she's not stupid. I knew that Sarper was a playboy. I knew it from the second I met him. And I didn't expect him to change his ways for a girl that he met twice. All right, yeah, I agree there. Not gonna change his ways. Anyway, she goes home, they miss each other, and she goes back to Turkey. And it's like the more time they spend together, um, the more they don't get along. That's what I'm saying. And she's the jealous sort. And you know what? A jealous sort and a playboy, that's not a good mix. I mean, I could tell you right now, you're never going to sleep good at night if you're not with him. Because, you know, you'll never. Anyway, she starts complaining about his bed even. We were so excited to see each other again, but the problem started right away. What is happening with your bed? That is still your old bed. She wanted to change my famous old bed, most visited place in Istanbul. Oh, that's so disgusting. But now we get some numbers, because you know what? You can say you're a playboy, but you know what? You can only understand so much until you get some actual figures. And you know what? He gives us the figures. About a month before I moved to Turkey, Sarper told me that he had slept with over 2,500 women. At the time, I thought that it was a typo but he actually responded saying it's between 2,500 and 3,000. So that was shocking, but I was already in love with him and he made it really clear that he only wanted to be with me going forward. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, right. There's a fool born every day and Shekinah is one of them. Anyway, she's got a kid, Shekinah. You know, she's got a grown daughter and I guess she goes home to visit her. But then she misses Sarper, so she goes back. But you know, money's always a thing. She's making the money over here. He's got no money. Whatever, so she's home a lot of the time. And she's just full of delusion. Is this the longest you've ever been faithful to someone? Yes. Yeah? And you're being 100% honest with me? 110%. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I'll tell you another one. But it's funny, when she's with him, like, they can't wait to see each other, and then they get together, and he, she annoys him, and he annoys her. Like, they pick at each other. This is so doomed. You know, and he gives this little line here. He got a love. We can live together, no problem, till we warp each other, and then you go back to your country. Uh, there's, she's so stupid, so stupid, and disgusting. I can't even. Anyway, other than being a playboy, he's also got some weird things. I guess when he's away from her, like, he's kind of like OCD or got some issues. He counts things, and, of course, this led to him counting women, and 2,500 and his record is, is four and a half in one day. If that doesn't just make your stomach turn, bleh, I can't even, but anyway. But don't get it twisted. Here's what he says about that. I had a record of sleeping uh, in a day it was like four and a half woman, I can say, because the last one I couldn't <laughs> to be honest. But 
I tried five, but it was four and a half, let's say. But now she kind of, she's the only woman that I'm sleeping with. I'm totally faithful. Yeah, he's faithful now. <laughs> but I guess um, he's a personal trainer over in Turkey, which makes sense because he's got to meet all these women. I mean, you don't get to those stats of 2,500 plus just, you know, going to an office job, you know, hooking up in, with people in the lunchroom. You, no, he's a personal trainer. That makes sense. That's where that's where he's getting the women. But anyway, she kind of put a stop to that because she doesn't trust him and she shouldn't. So now he can't do that the way he was making a living. Doomed, you know, and he doesn't want her going out in LA. So they basically just just sit home until we're together. Just don't freaking move because you know what? Both of you have no self-control probably. So just sit home. But then they have the glorious moment of when they reunite, she goes back to Turkey. And a few days in, uh, it doesn't last. Of course, I guess once they he does a couple, few more X's in his book. Or maybe she only gets one X because she's just one. Oh, what? That's a good question. Does one person just get one X if you if you double up on the person? Do they get more than one X? Or those when he says twenty five hundred, those twenty five hundred different women? Or can you can you repeat? Can you go back and and you know? Oh, okay, I'm getting off on the thing. But anyway, he, she gets at least one X, if not more, but whatever. She gets the one X, but then this happens. I'm doing, I'm trying, I'm striving to make her happy, but she doesn't see it. You know, it's getting too much. That bitchiness getting higher every day, every day, every day, every day. When she gets back to Turkey, she has to relax in her demands. This is a rough one. I, I can't even stomach this, um, but you know what? This is the nonsense I'm following. I give them 0% chance, 0% chance. Um, but anyway, this I take issue with. So now, because she's gone back and forth to Turkey, but he's not personal training, personal training, you know, he's not doing that. And so she needs to make money. So she's going back. She's in the, I can't even say that word, esthetician, whatever making good money in the US. So now they apply for the K-1 visa. And I'm like, no, it's called the other way. She's supposed to be going there. He's not supposed to be coming here. No, 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 no. That's that's a different show. He, they This foul, I call, you know, tell the producers, this is no fair. We don't want him over here. We got enough freaking riffraff of our own. She needs to hightail it over there and stay there. But you know what? They applied for the K-1 visa. Lord knows he's going to be coming over here. I give him a minute. I give him a minute, but then the problem is he'll be here to stay. So he'll be working his charms on some other sucker. But anyway, I follow this nonsense every week. Um, assuming I can keep up with this nonsense, let me know if you actually watch this stuff because I don't know how long my stomach can take this, but I am trying. I am trying because every once in a while you find a good wholesome couple and I'm, I'm still hopeful. Um, it's not them though. It's, it's not these two, no. But uh, let me know if you're following this show. Anyway, I follow this nonsense every week. So if you want to follow along, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you've made it this far, after all my babbling and venting, please hit the like button. And I will see you next week. Bye.